Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So for our scripture today from the Old Testament, we are looking at the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 1 through 5. And I should say to you that the version I am reading is a version that Bishop Cooley, if I understand correctly, is developing. Yes. And it's called the Kingdom Study Bible. Amen. Okay, so that's the version we're using today. So Isaiah 40, verses 1 through 5. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her warfare has been accomplished, that her sins have been forgiven. She has received from the Lord's hand double for all her trials. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley will be exalted, uh -huh. every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground will become level, the rugged place is smooth. Mm -hmm. The glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Again, that's Isaiah 40, verses 1 through 5. Mm -hmm. Kingdom Study Bible. Mm -hmm. And our New Testament is from the book of John, mm -hmm. John the Gospel, John 1, verses 29 through 34. The next day, John saw Jesus coming. Let me repeat that. John 1. 29 to 34, in case you didn't get there as fast as I did. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I was telling you about when I said, A man who comes after me will surpass me because he was before me. I did not know that Jesus was going to be the one that the prophets were talking about. He is the reason I came into the wilderness preaching the kingdom of God and baptizing people with water. I did all this to reveal him to Israel. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. At that point, I knew Jesus was God's Son, the Chosen One. The Lord who sent me to baptize with water told me, the man on whom you see the Spirit come down on and remain on is the one who would baptize with the Holy Spirit. I have seen and I testify that this is God's chosen one. Again, John 1, verses 29 through 34. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Well, we're grateful for the scriptures that have been wonderfully read Amen. with such great power and authority. Amen. 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 I'm not going to read really the text because the text was read. Amen. 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 But I'm going to preach from it. And my subject for today is God has a plan for you. Can you say that with me? God has a plan for you. God has a plan. Has a plan. And make it personal. Tap yourself lightly in the chest and say, God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. Now let's make it broad and say, God has a plan for all of us. God has a plan for all of us. When I was in ninth grade, we studied the book. Amen. Of Mice and Men mm -hmm. by John Steinbeck. Mm -hmm. And one of the famous quotes of the book was, the best laid plans mm -hmm. of mice and men often go awry. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody else said that humans plan and God laughs. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. That many times we can have plans of what we desire to do, what mm -hmm. we want to do, but God has a bigger plan purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. God has a higher plan than what we're able to see, mm -hmm. what we're able to even process and understand. Mm -hmm. Now, different from the plans of human beings, God's plan mm -hmm. always comes to pass. Amen. Can I say that again? That God's yeah. plan Preacher. always Preacher. comes Preacher. to Preacher. pass. Preacher. It may not look like yes, it, sir. But God's plan yeah, yeah. is coming to pass. Yeah. All things are always working together yeah. yes, for our good. Yeah. Because we love God and we have been called according to God's purpose yes. and God's plan. Right. Amen. And so even though sometimes my plans don't work out the way that I plan for them to work out. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel a little disappointed. Sometimes I feel a little frustrated with other people especially. Mm -hmm. 
when you got a plan for them and they don't follow through with the plan, sometimes you can feel a little frustrated. You can feel a little disappointed when people don't do what you want them to do, when you want them to do it, and how they want you to do it. But God has a plan. Hallelujah. That is always going to come to pass. He said, my word will not return void, well, but it will, it will accomplish yes, yes. that which I have sent it out to do. It says, heaven and earth mm -hmm. shall pass away before one jot or one tittle of my word shall fail. Mm -hmm. And so I can trust the word of God. I can trust the plan of God for my life. Amen. For us individually, as well as for us corporately, as a church, as well as us collectively as humanity. Yes. Our second text, which came from the Gospels, all four of the Gospels. We have Synoptic Gospels, amen, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And then we have the Gospel of John that kind of stands alone. But all of these Gospels, whether Synoptic or not, they all testify of three things. Yes. Mm -hmm. The death, mm -hmm. the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They also speak of three additional things, mm -hmm. which is the baptism, the wilderness experience of Jesus, mm -hmm. as well as the ministry of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So it is through the Gospels, the good news, the glad tidings that Jesus, our way shore, mm -hmm. our example of what it means to be fully human and fully divine, mm -hmm. we see the plan of God being revealed in his life. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, if God's plan was revealed through Jesus' life, yes. and I keep following Jesus, it gives me hope mm -hmm. that God's plan will be revealed in my life. Amen. Can I say that again? If yes. I keep following Jesus, yes. 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 no matter what it looks like, no matter what it sounds like, no matter what it feels like, mm -hmm. that God's plan will be revealed in my life. Amen. And so we see that it gives us hope. That God's plan will be revealed and fulfilled in our lives. Well, our text focuses on the baptism of Jesus and his relationship with his cousin John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. And it tells us about how God's plan unfolds in our lives. Mm -hmm. Bullet point number one is validation. Somebody say validation. Validation. Come on, say it again, validation. validation. Anybody ever got a parking uh, ticket when you went into park in a garage and they gave you a parking uh, ticket and then you went to a restaurant and they validated or you went into a particular business establishment and they stamped, they validated your parking uh, slip. It said this person was actually here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get free parking, sometimes hey, man, you get discounted, but they validate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you actually are a person that did business there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when it comes to the plan of God, your validation can only come from God. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, my validation, my validation comes from God. Comes from God. Which means that only God can tell you who you are. Come on. Okay. The Bible says we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Mm -hmm. It is God who has made us and not we ourselves. Amen, amen. Nobody else can declare truth, mm -hmm. truthfully who you are, what your purpose and plan is, only the creator who made you. Amen. And so God validates who you are. Mm -hmm. God validates that I love you. Mm -hmm. And you really can't go forward successfully in life without knowing who you are and that God loves you. Mm -hmm. I came all the way from St. Petersburg, Florida to tell you that God knows who you are mm -hmm. and that God loves you. Yeah. Yeah. That God made you in God's image and mm -hmm. after God's likeness. Mm -hmm. And the fact that God made me and yeah. loves me is enough validation for me. All right. Right. Can I say that again? You didn't make me. That's right. And sometimes your love might go up and down and back and forth and in and out. But I know that God made me. Amen. And I know that if it were not for the Lord that I wouldn't be here. That's right. And because God made me yeah. and because God loves me, I feel validated. Well, Other right. people can talk about you. They can run your name through the mud. They can scandalize your name and call you everything but a child of God. But I know who I am. Yeah. Yeah. I have been validated by God. If anybody asks 
ask you who I am. Just tell them I'm a child of God. I know who I am. I'm not a fake child of God. All right. I'm not a, a half child of God. Right. I'm not a stepchild of God. But I have been validated by God with all the rights, with all the privileges, with all the benefits that are associated with being God's offspring. I have been validated. Woo, glory to God. I don't need positions and titles and pats on the back to validate me. God has validated me. Oh, I feel a sense of peace knowing that God knows my name, that the hairs on my head are numbered, that God has validated me. Anybody in here that God has validated, that you know God has validated you, that God has given you God's stamp of approval? Come on, sir. Amen. See, it's so important to have God's validation because people don't have a heaven to put you in. Come on. There's no heaven in their attic and there's no hell in their basement. But I'm living for God's validation. For God to say, this is my beloved son. This is my beloved daughter. This is my beloved offspring and whom I'm well pleased. I don't know about you, but I feel praised today to know that I've been validated by God. That the God of the universe has given me a stamp of approval. And I came to let you know, Dr. Vince Mondita, that God has validated you. I came to let Faith Clinic know that God has validated you. That God has put God's stamp of approval on your life and on your ministry. Oh, somebody say, God has validated me. Hallelujah. Ooh, people can be wishy washy. But God has validated me. Talk about it. Talk about it. I'm trying to move on, but I feel worship and praise and thanksgiving to know that God, the one who put the sun and the moon in place, has validated me. Hallelujah. And that's what God did for Jesus. He said, this is my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased. You all may not be pleased with him, but I'm validating him. I'm giving him my stamp of approval. This is my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased. And many times we are looking for people's validation and we don't get it. Amen. And we're trying to please them and get their approval, and we don't get it. We bend over backwards, amen, amen. sideways and front ways. We play doormat. Amen. Okay. We let folk walk all over us That's trying to get their validation. We send up our blood pressure. Huh? Yeah. Have strokes and heart attacks trying to get people's validation. Yeah. But God has a plan for me, and God yeah. has yeah. validated yeah. who I am yeah. and let me know that I've loved you with an everlasting love. I won't change my mind about you. All right, thank you, yeah. God. Thank you, yeah. God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. My validation comes from where? God. God. Your validation comes where? From God. It comes from God. The same way that God validated Jesus, God validated dates each one of God's beloved offspring. Yes. Pulling point number two. So my validation comes from God, but my affirmation uh -huh. well, come on. comes from people. Uh -huh. mm. Not only did God say, mm -hmm. this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased, mm -hmm. but John the Baptist, come on. Come on. another human being mm -hmm. that was on the earth affirmed what God said. Yes, yes. And he said, Behold the Lamb of God Come which on. takes away the yes, sins yes, yes. of the world. This is the one I was telling y'all about. Mm -hmm. Come on. I baptize you with water but he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Let me affirm him. Yes. That Jesus, yes. whose shoes are not even worthy to untie, that he submitted himself to the ministry of John the Baptist, Preacher. and John baptized him in water. Mm -hmm. John affirmed him. Yeah. Yeah. So you need God's validation yeah. and the affirmation.
affirmation of people. Come on, amen, come on, amen, come on, amen, talk about amen. it. Amen, my validation comes from where? God. My affirmation comes from. People. Unless God validates me, it doesn't matter how much you affirm me. Ah. Amen, can I say it again? Amen. Your affirmation means nothing without God's validation. All right. All right. All right. Because the Bible says, thy kingdom come. Yes. Thy will be done on earth as it already is in heaven. So I can affirm on earth what God has already validated in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be pounded in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. It's not just enough. Well, that's right. Amen. To have the affirmation of people, mm -hmm. you must first have the validation of God. Yes. And God will reveal God's self about you to somebody else. Yes. God always has a witness. Yes. Somebody lift your hand and say, God always has a witness. God always Come on, say it again. God has always God has, always has a witness. Has a witness. <laughs> Even though all the disciples went back to fishing. <laughs> there was one disciple there to affirm him. There was one disciple there to be a witness. To be right there. John was there affirming him. Yes, yes. Peter denied him. Uh -huh. Judas betrayed him. Come on, sir. But John said, I'm going to stand right here at the foot of the cross and affirm him. Yes. Yes. Preach, yes, sir. yes. You need somebody. Somebody. Hey, but that's how people have cults. Mm -hmm. Because God validated me. But somebody, somebody say somebody, somebody on this earth ought to be able to affirm you. And that's our relationship with uh, the Faith Clinic Community Church. Amen. And the church of the everlasting kingdom. He, a bishop was already validated before we met him. Amen. Amen. Elder was already validated before we met her. Amen. This church was already validated before we met each other. Yeah. But I just came to affirm. All right. Amen. I came to be your witness on earth that this is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. I just came to affirm what God has already validated. Preach, sir. Preach. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Amen. So my validation comes from God. God. My affirmation comes from people. people. John affirmed him. God validated him. Pulling mm -hmm. point number three. And then after validation and affirmation, you have confirmation. Mm -hmm. Come on. Somebody say confirmation. Confirmation. Which means that there are things that happen mm -hmm. that you can't even explain. Things that don't even make sense mm -hmm. to let you know that God is with you. Uh -huh. That the Bible says that the dove mm -hmm. descended on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yes, it mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that the heavens opened up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the dove descended on his shoulder. Well. And the one that you see with the dove descending on his shoulder, that's the one. That's the one that the prophets prophesied about. That's the chosen one. That's the only begotten son of God, full of grace and truth. The universe yes, yes. will conspire mm -hmm. to give confirmation mm -hmm. to what God has validated and what people have affirmed. You can't make a dove sit on nobody's shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I say it again? You can't force a dove to sit on anybody. I've even been to funerals where they're trying to get the doves to, to cooperate. Amen. And they shake in the basket trying to get the dove. Them doves come out when they want to come out. Amen. I've seen them open the basket back up to try to get the doves to come back. And those doves come back when they want to come back. You can't force mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. confirmation. Come on. But God will always confirm God's word. That there will be miracles, signs, and wonders that happen as a confirmation to the validation and the affirmation. Uh, that God will do things in the universe that you can't even explain. Anybody in here got a healing that you can't explain? Hallelujah. Anybody in here got an answer to prayer that you just can't explain? Has God done anything for anybody in here that just don't even make good common sense? That God is doing exceeding abundantly 
thee above all that we can ask or even think according to the power oh, that works within us. I don't know about you, but I've gotten some confirmations yeah. that God is with me. Yeah. I've got, he said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the earth. Yea, though I walk yeah. Yeah. through the valley in the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they, they comfort me. I got confirmation of ways that God has made. I've got confirmation of doors that God has opened. And the door that God opens, nobody can shut. And the door that God shuts, nobody can open. That I'm on the right track. <laughs> that I'm doing the right thing. Anybody ever got a confirmation? Where people say, hey, I'm going to bless you with this. I don't even know why I'm doing this for you. But the favor of God. I wish I had some worshipers that would lift your hands and say the favor of God. <laughs> that God's favor is upon your life. Amen. Thank Hallelujah. You Thank Praise you, God. God. And the favor of God confirms. Thank you, God. Yes. through natural events, mm -hmm. daily occurrences, mm -hmm. that God is with you, mm -hmm. that God is for you, mm -hmm. that God is in you. Mm -hmm. If God be for us, Come on now. who Ooh. then can be against yes, us? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. My validation comes from God. God. My affirmation comes from People. And my confirmation comes from the universe, from nature. Uh -huh. Amen. Now, if you take the first letter of validation, mm -hmm. affirmation, mm -hmm. and confirmation, it forms the acronym. Mm -hmm. And that acronym is VAC. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody say VAC. 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 So God has a plan for me, and it's a, it's a vac. It's mm -hmm. it's a plan of validation, affirmation, and confirmation. confirmation. Yes. Sometimes it's a wet vac uh -huh. because when I go through the water, uh -huh. I'm not going to drown. Hallelujah. When I go through the floods, they won't overflow me. Sometimes it's a, a wet vac. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's a dry vac. That I'm in a desert or a dry place. But God still is my back. Gives me validation, affirmation, and confirmation. Sometimes it's an H-back. Heating, come on now. Ventilation and air conditioning. That God says no matter what the condition is. That I'm your back. That I'm going to be with you. Yes, yes, yes. So whether it's a, a dry vac because uh -huh. you're in a desert valley situation. That's right, that's right. Whether it's a wet vac because you're going through a storm. All right. Mm -hmm. Whether it's an H vac mm -hmm. because you need some heat because people have been cold. <laughs> Woo! Or you need some air because it didn't got hot. <laughs> between you and another person somebody say God's yes my back God, yes, my which means that in every condition externally that God will always make sure mm -hmm. that I have validation yes affirmation yes. and confirmation yes yes God is my back amen it lets me know that God mm -hmm. has a plan mm -hmm. for me yes Yes. That God has a plan for you. Yes, yes. That God has a plan for all oh, of us. Yes, yes. Thank you, God. No external situation, wet, dry, no condition mm -hmm. can stop God's back. That's right. Amen. And God has your back. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Thank you. Woo! Glory to God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. He said, I will uphold you with my right hand. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I got to back y'all. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Woo! Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. That God will put you like in a vacuum and like a and like a in a pr pr protected place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo! 
he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Somebody know something about God's yes, back. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank Woo. you, God. That God protects you, that God preserves you, that God restores you, that God keeps you. Because God has a plan for your mm -hmm. life. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, God. Can you just lift your hands where you are and just say, say yes to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. I thank you for your Hallelujah. purpose. I thank you for your plan for my life. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody say yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Woo! Thank you, God. So that we're not out here by ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank Amen. you, God. I say yes. Yes, Lord. I pray for these spiritual leaders. I pray. Amen. For the board. I pray for the members. I yes. pray for those that are here physically, those that are here virtually. Yes. Cause them to all be comforted today. Cause them to be strengthened today. Cause them to be encouraged. Yes. Knowing mm -hmm. that you have a plan for them. Thank you, God. There's always a back. Thank you, God. It is in the name and through the power. And in the consciousness, the awareness, the nature, the essence, the character, the authority of Christ Jesus. Yes, yes. That it is so and so it is. Mm -hmm. And so we let it be. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The bottom, from, from the, the bottom, bottom of my heart to the depths, to the depths of my soul. Somebody say yes, yes Lord. Completely yes. Completely yes. My soul. My the plans I have for you. Yes, Lord. I know the thoughts I think concerning yes, you. Yes, Lord. Plans to prosper you From and to give you a future. My heart. To the depths. To the depths of my soul. Oh, I feel a yes in here. Yes, Lord. Completely yes, without hesitation, without reservation. Completely yes. My soul says yes. My One more time, somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, open your mouth and say, yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart, if you need healing today, heart. lift your hands and just say yes. Yes, yes to healing, yes to health, and yes to wholeness. Yes, Lord. Ooh, every organ, every system, every tissue, every body, yes. muscle, hallelujah, is being healed. Right now, somebody say, my, my soul says yes. yes. I feel the Holy Spirit. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Maybe got some things going on in your relationships with yes, your family, Lord. with your friends, with your neighbors, your co-workers, your classmates, your church members. Hallelujah. We let go of any chaos. We let go of any contention. We let go of any confusion. Comparison. And we say, yes, Lord to love. I yes, Lord, to peace. Yes. yes, Lord, to joy. My soul. My, my soul said yes. One more time, tell him yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Maybe somebody's having a financial struggle today. Yes, Lord. Maybe you're in between blessings. Hallelujah. Say yes to prosperity. Come on, yes to increase and abundance and overflow. And more than enough, we say yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health. Even as your soul says yes. My soul. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Hallelujah. My soul says yes. One more time, everybody lift your voice and say, My soul says yes. Come on.
put your hands together and give God praise today. Hallelujah. Come on for about 60 seconds. Just give God the praise. Give God the glory. Give God the honor. Lord, we praise you. We worship you. We magnify you. We glorify you. We uplift you. And we exalt your name for the miracles, the signs, and the wonders that are happening right here and right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Ooh, I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Ooh, reviving us, restoring us, renewing us, oh, strengthening us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That our prayers are answered. Thank you, Lord. That our hearts are lifted. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Once again, we thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,